Hello, Robbie Strike here. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a great new feature that the Roku TVs have added uh, as a software update. At first I thought, oh, it's just a software update, but it's a really, really nice update. First off, they've added an EPG guide. So you can go through your over-the-air channels. They didn't have that before. It almost felt like the Roku TVs really lagged on the, their over-the-air options like the options were really buried in the in the system i've done a video about that and i've also done a video several other videos about the roku channels and all the stuff that you can use with a roku so check those out uh, on my channel i'll have a link in the description and also on the end screen all right so what you do is you get if you have your tv on uh, live tv which is watching your over the air tv take your roku remote and hit the left button and then uh, the guide will pop up. It's kind of a, in a weird spot. And then you can go through the guide. Sometimes with EPG, you have to uh, go to the channel. You go to the channel and then it, uh, so if it, you don't have all the EPG loaded on that, on your TV, just go to the channel and then it should load up. And it has no information, that's fine. It's Canadian channel. They don't have information on the Canadian channels. But, on the American channels, you can see all the shows and programs that are on that would be available on over-the-air TV. Antenna TV. Not the network antenna TV, but TV with an antenna. But with my antenna, I do get a network that's called antenna TV. But what they've done, and I'm really impressed with this, how Roku's done this, is they've added their, added their streaming TV lineup. So you can go in there and you can see all their streaming channels. Now this is, obviously this is something that's already been there before, but what they've really done is they made it a lot simpler in the menu because before you would have to go into the home screen, go to the Roku channel, find where the streaming channels are, and then you get to here. Where now, if you're watching over the air TV, you can simply uh, jump uh, from maybe an over the air channel to one of the Roku uh, TV uh, live TV channels, which is a great feature from, from the Roku great update that they've done to this tv i've had it for about a, uh i've had it for i don't know maybe a year uh, almost a year uh so yeah it has a whole roku streaming channel guide as part of your over the air guide good on roku i like that i just wanted to tell you guys about that a uh, quick video about that for if you do watch over the air channels with your uh, Roku TV. And this is something I definitely recommend uh, for a lot of people. Um, and if you're watching my channel, you probably are the tech savvy one in your group, whether that's your family or your group of friends. If you're like me, you might want to recommend this to your friends who might not be so tech savvy, but you want to have them an easy, not like a crazy, okay, you got a one set top box, you got two set top box, three set top boxes to watch. Uh, this is an all in one where you just, you got to use the one remote. You don't have to have like uh, all these different remotes to go after. I still have a ton of remotes. I'm that, uh, I have like remotes for the satellite receiver, remotes for the dish mover, remotes for the antenna mover. I got a ton of remotes, but this, it does um, make it so that I used to have a set top box for streaming, where with Roku, I can get most of everything that I'd wanna stream right inside the TV, in the smart TV, without having to have the second box. So this is definitely something I do recommend. Yeah, so music videos, actually I like that, which I can mix up with a Roku channel. Roku channel. And there's the live TV at the top. They made it a little bit more more uh, easier to define, which I appreciate that. Uh, there's red, green. I don't know if they have. And definitely with the Roku channel, we a lot of uh, people uh, I've been chatting with online, we've been talking about the uh, weird, the Al Yankovic story that just came out. Uh, a, kind of a satire autobiography about weird Al Yankovic. I had no idea that he dated Madonna and that Madonna let, let Weird Al Yankovic down a dark path of drinking and debauchery and just a, a really uh, uh, you know awful life. Uh, but watch the movie. Check out Weird, the Al Yankovic story. <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of... Uh, if, you, if you've seen Weird, let me know in the comments. I, I really enjoyed that movie. Weird Al Yankovic is the unexaggerated true story about the greatest musician and sex symbol of our time. With Evan, Rachel Wood, Ryan, Rain Wilson, and an A-less cast of thousands. And Daniel Radcliffe, if I said his name right. <laughs> you can always go, if you're trying to figure out how to get to that, go home screen. 
go live TV. Just go to your home screen, go to live TV, and it should bring you back to where you want to be. Um, I've done several other videos about the Roku, so if you uh, want to uh, check those out, uh, there'll be a link in the description, and also there'll be a, uh, a link in the end screen if this platform that you are happen to be watching this has that end screen. If there's anything I can suggest to the Roku development team is maybe a little bit of a better signal finder uh, that gives you a little bit more information um, uh, for uh, if you the type person has an over-the-air antenna and you have it on a router and you gotta find you gotta move it to be able to uh, pick up different stations so yeah a suggestion would be uh, why not have a PVR function so that you can just go and select the program and select it to record you can buy it on any electric stores but then it means that you have to add a separate box up to your TV where what I really like about the smart TVs and especially the Roku TVs because it's so such a easy user interface, I wish they would add that.